Hello everyone, Raza here. In this video, I will show you how to work with multiple modern table controls in Canvas Power Apps. We will relate, connect data from multiple tables by leveraging two table controls on the same screen, add features like searching, sorting, and so much more. So let's check it out in action. I have a table in Dataverse called company that has information about company details that my organization does projects with. I have another table called projects. I store details about projects my organization does for those specific companies. Related company. This is a column of type lookup where I am relating my projects table with my company table in a many is to one relationship. Now let's go ahead and build a fully responsive Canvas Power App. I will start with a page design and pick one of the responsive screen layouts, the sidebar layout. This will create a Power App that has the tablet form factor but will be fully responsive as it will create a screen that leverages the responsive container controls. I will be using modern controls. I'll head over to settings, general, turn on modern controls and themes. In the header container, I'll add the modern header control. I'll set the title property for the header control as project tracker. I can also upload a logo. Next, in this bottom container, there are two containers. The main container, I will move it to the left. In here, I will go and insert the modern table control experience. And this, I will connect to my company's table in Dataverse. The moment I select this, it will go ahead and connect to that table and bring in the columns from that table. This table sits in the main container, but it is not taking the full real estate. Alignment and container, stretch, flexible height, on, so it takes the full real estate. Fields is where I can decide which fields are a part of the table control I can reorder fields, add fields, remove fields. If I hold the Alt key while I am in the edit experience, I can also set the width of my columns here. And if I was to preview this app, I'm in my desktop experience. If I was to change this, let's say to a tablet experience, Notice how the table control adds a horizontal scroll. Can also change the orientation. View this on a mobile device experience. Here, if you observe the table control completely transformed into a different layout as there was not enough real estate. The way the table control does this is it has a property called reflow behavior. By default, it's set to reflow. So depending upon the real estate, it will either show the details in a grid layout or in the list layout. You can force a certain type of layout, list only. Here it will show the first three field values. So it's showing the ID, the name, and the industry. Observe if I reorder, that change will be respected right here. I'll set the reflow behavior to reflow. Under style and theme, we have options like header font. Here I can change the font of the column headers. I can change the size of the font. I can also give it a specific color of my choice. If I click on the reset, the property to its default value, it goes back to the default for the theme. 
and there are other style and theme properties that I will recommend for you to go and explore. The modern header control also has an option which allows us to sort the columns. So here I can sort the columns by name, A to Z, Z to A, and I can try this for my other column types as well. One of the other options in the table control is you can select multiple cells, copy and paste. This feature is thanks to the allow range selection property of the table control. We also have the ability to select a specific row in the table control. Now I would like to give the user the option to search for data within this table control. For that, I'll select my main container and insert the modern text input control. Reorder, move up, align it in the center, placeholder text. You can use emojis here. I'll put the search emoji and say search companies. This text input control, I'll rename it. And I would like to use the text that the user enters to perform a search action on the items property of my table control. Search in my table companies, my text controls value property. I would like to use that to search in the following columns. Search in the ID column, search in the name column, founder column. Now as the user types in this text box, it will constantly keep searching. The text input control has a property called delay output. Set this to true. From a performance standpoint, it gives a better option because it will wait for the user to complete typing. I'll search for green. Green is in the name column for one of my companies. Seven. Lee. I have my companies and the user has the option to select a company. Now when they select a company, I would like to show all the related projects. In my right section container, projects for table company dot selected dot name. So observe as I select a specific record in the company table, on the right hand side, the batch control shows the name of that specific company. And in this sidebar container, I will go and insert the modern table control again. And this one, I will connect it to my projects table. In my scenario, my sidebar container has limited real estate. So this would be a good option for me where I can set the reflow behavior to list only. Now I would like to show only the projects that are related. And to do that for the items property of my projects table, I will use the formula table company dot selected dot. These two tables are related with each other. My table is called RD projects. So I can simply pick that. If I preview and select a specific company, it will try to show the related projects. Biotech Labs has three projects. Whereas for global logistics, I do not have any related projects. Now, if I sort or search, the table control refreshes here and there is no selection. And when there is no selection, the container on the right hand side should ideally not even be visible. And we can do this by setting the visible property of the sidebar container as not is blank table company dot selected dot. I have a mandatory field name, so I'll leverage that. Only the company's table is visible. But the moment I select a company, it will light up the sidebar container to show the related projects. 
I'll search for Smith. The search query was applied. I select. I can see the related projects if there are any. The projects table. Let's add searching capability here as well. If I type lab, it only returns the project names where the text contains lab. Now let's add another screen that allows the user to create or edit projects related to the selected company. I'll go to new screen. Here I'll pick header and footer layout. I'll use the header control. In the main container, I will go and insert the modern form control and connect this to my projects table. The default mode of this form is set to new. And for the user to land on this screen, in my home screen, in my sidebar container, I will go and insert a horizontal container. This container, I will move it up. And in this container, I will go and insert a couple of button controls. The first button's text, I will call it new. And the second button's text, edit. Now, when the user clicks on new, on select of the button, reset the form, project form, and then navigate the user to my form screen, which in my case is called screen two. That form will need the detail about which company is selected. So here I'll set a variable as well called where company. And this would be my table company dot selected. So if I preview, click new, leads me to the project info screen where I can create the new project. Now in my form control fields, I have my lookup column called related company. Now in my form screen, I have my related company lookup column. And this I would like to set directly based upon the company that the user selected in the home screen. So for the related company data card, I will unlock it. And the default property I will set as my variable that I set, which is where company. And it will go and automatically select it. And since I do not want the user to change this, it's display mode I will set as display mode dot view. We need to give a submit button. This footer container, I'll move it up. And in here, insert a button. On select of this, I'll use the function submit form to submit the data in my form control. The form control has an on success function here back to take the user back to the previous screen. I'll pick healthcare cop, no projects. I'll create a new one. Related company is set. And once I click submit, should go and add the data in my data source. If I pick healthcare cop, here is that related project. And I can also allow the user to edit existing project details for the on select, leverage the same code for the edit button. After resetting the form, I will set the mode of the form to edit. I'm setting my company. I also need to set the project. Click edit, doesn't show me anything. That's because for the forms item property, all I have to do here is set this to where project. And now it should load all the details. Let's change the status of the project to in progress. Submit, that should go and make the modification in my data source. Select the company, here is the status that was updated. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.